How to create a porch in SketchUp. You're always going to want to have a beautiful porch that everybody comes to when they come see your house. In this video today, we're going to show you how to create a porch with a beam in SketchUp. And if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not sure how to use some of the commands that I'm using in this uh, in this video or other videos. I do have a series out that shows you exactly how to use SketchUp. By all means, make sure you check out my channel and look for the playlist that has to do with learning how to use SketchUp. All right, so let's show you how to make this beautiful porch in SketchUp. Let's get right into that video. How to create a porch in SketchUp. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is to come over here to our layers or tags and put a porch layer in. So I'm going to click the plus mark, type in porch, and then say OK. All right, so our porch is going to go here. And what we're going to do for this porch is we're going to have a concrete slab that sits on a foundation. Of course, the foundation isn't there yet. But that slab sits usually right here because the foundation usually ends here. These are our floor joists, and then what's going to happen is we're going to have our slab on top of here. So what I'm going to do is create a rectangle, and I'm going to put it right here, and come up. I may have to zoom in to get it to where I want it to be. All right, so I want this to be 7 feet this way, and most slabs for porches are 3.5 inches thick, so I'm going to go 3.5, and then hit Enter. And uh, now I'm going to push-pull this out, and I'm going to push-pull it out uh, 5 feet. All right, so there's our porch. Now, you're going to have to decide on the sizes based on the instructions that you have, but uh, for this uh, example, this is the size we're going to use. Now, this represents the size of the foundation, but the slab usually overhangs by about an inch and a half on each side. So I'm going to pull this out 1.5 inches this way and then 1.5 inches this way, and that's going to allow me to have an inch and a half overhang our foundation. Okay, so at this point in time, what we want to do is to put on our header pieces that's going to support the roof that goes above the porch. And the easiest way to do that is to put guides on. So I'm going to throw some guides on here. And that guide's going to come out five. And we want this to, oh, not five inches. We want five feet. So let me try that again. So we want this to be five feet. And the reason we want this to come out five feet is because we want our header to be lined up with our foundation. And this one's going to come over seven feet. Okay, now at this point in time, uh, we know that our, our header pieces uh, to support our roof is going to be tripled up two by tens. Now a two by ten is an inch and a half by nine and a quarter inches tall, and I'm going to put a two by four on top of that. So the height is going to be nine and a quarter plus an inch and a half which equals 10 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to grab this top here and go down 10.75. Did I say 7 eighths? It should be 10.75. And I'm just going to go down here, 10.75. And this is going to represent the, uh, the bottom of our, of our boxes, and so of our header. So I could actually come and do it this way too. And I'm going to make this one four and a half inches because a tripled up two by ten is an inch and a half plus inch and a half, inch and a half. So it's four and a half. So I'm going to do 4.5. And I'm going to do the same thing over here and go this way, 4.5. Did I go the right direction on that one? I did not go on the right direction on that one. So I'm going to erase that one. And we'll try that one again. There we go. This should be 4.5. Now I have my spaces, and I'm just going to create my boxes just by going to the intersections. Sometimes I find that that's the easiest way to do it. You could actually do it just by putting the, a box or putting your rectangle tool in the corner and giving it the exact size that it needs to be. Uh, but either way, all right. So now what I want to do is to push pull these things out to create our beams, and I'm just going to bring this one longer than this one, and then this one's going to come right over to and connect to it. And I'm just going to erase what I don't need. And then I'm going to clean up my model, take off these lines. And I'm going to, don't forget to clean up the bottom part. All right, let's get rid of these guides here. So we don't need those. I'm going to leave 
Yeah. Okay. So now what we want to do is to put our our post here in the corner. And our post should line up with our foundation. So I'm going to use the uh, measurement tool and go in an inch and a half. Should be 1.5. And this one an inch and a half. So 1.5. And so this is going to represent where my corner post is actually going to sit. So uh, I'm going to put a rectangle here. And I'm just going to make this rectangle 3.5 by 3.5 uh, and then I'm just going to uh, push pull this up. So I made it three and a half by three and a half and I'm just going to push pull this up and I want to push pull that till it hits the underside of my my beam. Okay so this point in time um, that is a post and it's going to support it. But you could probably want to spend some time and make this as fancy as you want. So what I'm going to do is at this point in time I'm going to uh, get rid of this and bring in a different post or column that I've already designed. And so I'm just going to click it over here and I'm going to move it and put it someplace close so I can get it a little bit better. So at this point what I want to do is I'm going to take and put this upper corner at that corner there. So I'm going to grab the move command. That corner here is going to go to that corner there and I'll click off of it. And now I have a relatively decorative uh, post you know that was designed uh, that I designed uh, a lot of it's done with the push-pull tool. A lot of it's done with the follow-me tool. If you take a look at some of the molding that's on here, you know, with the with the follow-me tool, it's just create a profile and wrap it around. And some of it is just uh, extra pieces that's been put on top of it. And so now we have a decorative column. So you can spend as much or as little time as you want on this. Uh, for this house, I would just put a couple of things on here but when it comes time to design your own house you know go all out and see what you can come up with alright so now what I want to do is to put this on the porch layer so I'm going to turn all my other layers off and I'm going to select these and I'm going to right click and make it a group and then I'm going to come over here to my porch and put it as a tag turn turn it off so I make sure I got everything then turn everything back on and so that's how you make a porch in SketchUp. All right, well, thanks for watching another video on how to design a house in SketchUp. And oh, by the way, thank you for sticking around to the end. Much appreciated. And if you like the content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. All right, I hope your house is coming out beautiful. All right, we'll see you on the next one.